Yes. Yes, I know. And I plan to take full responsibility for his actions. Your business with me is incredibly important and I will make sure that it is my top priority that his actions do not go unpunished. Yes. He will be dealt with. Okay. Mr. Anderson, thank you for coming in. Of course. You have a job for me, don't you? What'd the poor bastard do? That's a question you don't need an answer to. But if it helps, he's been seen traveling around with a turquoise bike. Oh yeah, real specific. I'll just ask the thousands of different people who ride them to work every day. Maybe they have a club. You're an assassin, Johnny. Not a comedian. I'll get it done. You better. Romanov, I... I forgot to call. I didn't think you'd want me to. Come in. Beatrix Romanov, Diana Ortiz. What do you need? I have a job for you. Anderson. Johnny Anderson is the mark. That won't be too difficult, will it? <laughs> difficult? This will be the best job in my career. Consider it done. Are you kidding? He has a huge bounty on his head. I know a lot of people would pay good money to see that guy dead. <laughs> Trust me, Miss Croft. I got this. I've got punky power. You know, punky power, punky Brewster. Oh, yeah, that, that's that old sitcom, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, yeah, that's like, that's like early 80s. That's old. God, I feel old. <laughs> Why Anderson? Let's just say he's become a liability to my work relationships. I've hired someone else to work this job, too. I trust that won't be an issue? Not at all. Doing here, Ortiz. Get off me, you bastard! If you say so. It must be a birthday. I saw balloons. You have a nice nap. Why did you? I admit, a kid like you coming after me is quite a shocker. Let me go. Of course, you know you're not stupid enough to come up with this on your own. So who sent you? No one. Alright. You don't have to tell me. I can just make this night a long high in hell for you. It's Miss Croft. She wants you dead. No. No, no. She sent me out on a goose chase. Like a pig for slaughter. Yup. You fell for it. You say Croft. Why did you take it? For the money? A bit of a bounty, but you see, I can't have an old man taking all the jobs. You have a weird perception of time if you think that I'm old. Why Croft? Why not someone higher up? Isn't your brother Alan Ortiz? You knew him? You could say that. We worked a bit before he, you know. I miss him. I know you do. You know, it was Croft who took him out, right? You made a mistake. You shot him right in her office. I thought he died on the job. No, you're lying! Whatever you say, kid. I have new enemies to take care of. Anderson! Have a good night. Let me go! Oh, you bastard! Hello? Is he dead? Not yet. Diana was compromised. But don't worry. I'll get this done 
short and simple. I'll send someone to go fetch her. If you can, bring him back alive. If that's what you want, boss, I'll try to be merciful. <laughs> try? So you do want him dead? We have a complicated history. Glad to see you. I must say, your skills have not dwindled. Don't patronize me, Croft. Yeah, he's right. He doesn't deserve it, especially after he left me for dead. I thought you died. I found your body unresponsive, covered in blood, and I had to get out before the bomb went off. And while I'm recovering, you never once try to look for me or see if I'm okay. Next thing I know, you're buying dinner for everyone as if I never existed. I thought you were dead until a couple months ago. And besides, we were never official. Just a few fun nights and some oh chemistry. Oh my god, spare me the lovers to enemies story arc, please. I just want to see this guy's body in my fridge. Oh, I'm sure you have lots of people dying to have dinner with you after he obviously died. Like a horde of teenage girls when they see Harry Styles? Am I wrong? Never mind. Just kill him. You know this isn't what your brother would have wanted. Go for Croft. I'll handle her. I, I know. I know, but the situation has changed and I... It's being... It's being dealt with! You can't get a job done. Just do it yourself.